Sieg für die Geschichte. Standesüdens in hellem Lichte. FC Bayern, unsere Liebe. Wir sind deutsche Meister. One team, one goal for life. We will never lose our pride. With the champions, seven in a row. The future looks so bright. Wir sind Sieger. 90 Minuten, elf Spieler. Feiern die Tabellenführung in der Bundesliga. Super Bayern, wir haben's verdient. Elf gute Freunde, bestes Team. Well, we're back right here on Hala Kuwait, and right now we have a phone call with uh, Mr. Mohamed Dimqi, who is the chairman of Bayern Munich Fan Club in Kuwait. Uh, good evening, Mohamed. Hi, hi. Good evening, and uh, it's a pleasure uh, being here, here with you now. Well, it's nice to have you with us. And first off, uh, congratulations on Bayern Munich uh, winning their sixth UEFA championship uh, after beating uh, Paris Saint-Germain uh, 1-0. Congratulations on that. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I really would like to con congratulate all the FC Bayern fan club uh, members in Kuwait and all the FC Bayern fans all around the world. It's a, it's a great uh, achievement. And we waited like seven years to get that uh, trophy. And uh, and thanks in the end, and all the efforts were uh, we're, we're, we're seen in the stadium and we're seen from the players, from the coach, from uh, everybody who supported that team. They will, uh, they will deserve it. And, uh, That's true. They played very season. well in the final and well deserving to Bayern Munich. Congratulations to them. Tell us more about the Bayern Munich fan club here in Kuwait, please, Mohammed. Uh, actually, uh, Bayern Munich fan club here in Kuwait uh, was established in uh, 2013. And uh, in that year, we were very lucky, actually, because in that year also we got the same championship after waiting um, like uh, 12 years since 2001. So now it's been seven years uh, in the fan club, and it's the second championship in seven years, which is great for our members, for our fans here in Kuwait um, and uh, we're happy that we share these moments together now and uh, we are still uh, the same group, the same people uh, who are uh, supporting that team and um, uh, except the coronavirus the situation now uh, we would have been um, gathering and celebrating together uh, these achievements uh, through the years actually. So tell us Mohammed, what's the theme behind having uh, this fan club? Uh, actually, the, the theme is uh, sharing the love of FC Bayern, sharing the, the love of Bayern Munich. Yeah, it is yeah. a great club, one of the best clubs in the world. Uh, yes, exactly. That's why, and, and like here in Kuwait, we are not the majority. We are like, if you go, you can see many Real Madrid or Barcelona or Man United or Liverpool fans in Kuwait. But Bayern Munich, like we are not the majority, we are like a, a minority uh, uh, but you are loyal, other. loyal supporters for your team. Yeah, yeah, we are. We are loyal. We always support that team. We never support any other team. With all respect to other, all other teams, but it's great to to share that love, share that support together here in Kuwait, and and send that love to to the players in in Germany and uh, to the players uh, and to the club in Germany in Munich. Mohammed, how can someone join this club? And do the members have to be Kuwaiti or is it open for all? Tell us more, please. Uh, 
Uh, no, actually, we are uh, from different nationalities. Uh, I don't want to mention any nationalities, so we don't. I don't want to miss any anyone. But but it's open and for all, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. You it's just open. have to love Bayern. Yeah, that's all. You just have to uh, love the team and support the team and be loyal to the team, and you can join for free. We don't charge anybody. We have our group uh, on uh, WhatsApp, on social media, uh, on Instagram. They, you can just follow us, and if you want, you can contact us directly through all, all, all these uh, social media. So what would they just look up? Bayern Munich uh, fan club in Kuwait? They could just Google that and find information? No, no, it's just one word. Bayern Munich Q8. The, the letter Q and then the letter 8. Not, not the whole word. Okay. But like, uh, with just one word. Bayern Munich Q8. All right, Q8. that's that's very simple, and just uh, type that in, Bayern Munich Q8, one word, and you can find out all about the club right here in Kuwait. Tell us more about some of the activities done by this club, please. Uh, actually, there have been many uh, activities through the years, like um, uh, adding to uh, gathering for games uh -huh. at night or in the afternoon, depending on the game time. Uh, we had uh, some also... Uh, sports uh, activities like uh, playing, you know, the football together and uh, also participating in some um, uh, sports championships here in Kuwait. Nice. Like, uh, yeah. Also, we have our social um, uh, social uh, social work in Kuwait. Like we we did uh, five years in a row of blood donation. Uh, where the bank of blood in Kuwait in Jabriya okay. and yeah and we were inviting celebrities inviting uh, some famous players to to support us in in, uh, in that goal which is a human goal it's so some nice social awareness activities too uh, exactly exactly and and uh, we are trying uh, also like we have uh, for our supporters our members here we travel every year to Munich and uh, to attend the game and to meet the players, take pictures, and also to... Uh, wow, that, that must be amazing. Tell us about one of, one of those visits that you've went on. Okay, actually, like, uh, almost every year I'm there, and uh -huh. it's, it's like we go to Doha, where is the camp, the training camp in January uh, happens always. Very nice. And, yeah, and in Munich, we usually go, like, in February or March. Um, and uh, uh, over there uh, in Doha or Munich, we go to watch a match and watch the training. And also, we uh, we support our players every year. We cho we choose uh, the most popular and the best player, according to uh, our, our fan club, to mm -hmm. their choices. And we give that uh, trophy to the to the player we choose, and then we take pictures together, all together, and uh, also individually, our members have taken pictures individually with all, maybe most of the players, so, and their signatures and everything. Well, like, that must be very exciting to meet some of the superstars from Bayern Munich. Yeah, actually, like, now, for now, for us, and uh, thanks God, we made all our dreams come true. Like that's you support great. the team, win trophies, meet the players, and that's take amazing. pictures with them. Yeah, that's all what you ask for in football. That's true, and uh, I'm glad all the members uh, have made a lot of their dreams come true, and hopefully those uh, will continue in the future. And let's talk a little bit now more about the uh, championship achieved by the team a, a few days back. Uh, tell us how you saw the match was and. Uh, do you expect that, that score or more? Tell us more in your uh, expert opinion how the match went. Actually, it's a final where the finals, you know, it's 50-50. So you cannot say that team will win certainly or the other team. Uh, but and PSG so had played well coming into the final too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have uh, amazing player, uh, players like Neymar and Papi and all the other superstars that they have also. And they were like a strong team, actually. It was a tough match, a very tactical match. And um, But our coach and the players, and especially Manuel Neuer, the goalkeeper, was amazing. At yeah, that he's night. probably one of the best, if not the best goalkeeper in the world. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. He was just amazing during the whole championship. Actually, all the players gave it all, and, and they, they deserve it in the end. But the final was... Very tactical, very very dangerous game can be played on on small details sure. like these games. Yeah, but the team was up to the task, and uh, 
they did they did actually amazing in the final and they made us all happy in the end and they it's well deserved well once again congratulations to yourself and all the Bayern Munich supporters and fans here in Kuwait and who may be watching around the world on winning uh, their uh, sixth UEFA Cup championship and uh, and Mohammed in your opinion what makes uh, the Bayern Munich team so unique uh, first of all, uh, the coach was, which had like uh, a magical stick. Like he was an emergency coach. He came instead of the previous coach in yes. the middle of the season. So after that, the team has changed completely, 100 percent, and that was amazing. He changed all the players, also the the not only the 11 players, the whole the whole team. All every member in the team felt that. He has a role in the team, and he has a responsibility to do in the team. And that was amazing from the coach, how he encouraged all the players. And we had some players that, you know, it's ups and downs in football. And we had, like, Thomas Muller was one of the players who was w one of the worst players in the beginning of the season. But in the end, he uh, he ended up one of the best players of the team. And that's that's. Um, goes back to the coach and uh, yeah. what makes it yeah what makes it unique also the unity between the players and uh, and you feel like all of them like they feel like they're living in one in one house and in, in it's a one family and and that makes the achievement uh, great and actually everything they did everything they planned for uh, went uh, to plan and that really makes our team very unique and very strong team in Europe yeah, the coach did very well, very tactical, good uh, tactics and strategy, well known for having those uh, qualities as a coach. And now tell us about the club's future plans. What's uh, you're going to feel? What's coming next for the great Bayern Munich club? Mm, I think all the members now are all the fans. I mean, they are uh, worried about who will stay, who will go. And we like to keep all our players because... We have young talent and we have expert talent and uh, nobody wants anybody to go out or to leave the team because they are really all great players. And, and we have a new signing, that's Sané, and he's, he's also a very a talented player. He will add to the team for sure. So what we wish now for the coming years that they keep this team, maybe get one or two players that the coach needs and, uh, and and that's all just to keep the players first keeping the team then adding some new faces to the team which will strengthen the team in the future well we hope the continued success for the uh, Bayern Munich uh, team and the fan club hopefully even gets even bigger with a lot of numbers uh, you have a good number right now of fans correct yeah yeah actually we have like uh, around 200 uh, fans like and also sometimes we have fans coming from outside from the Gulf and we meet with them in, in camps and we meet uh, in, in different uh, occasions and also from Germany and uh, yeah I know you have coordination sometimes also with the German embassy here in Kuwait to facilitate yeah. <laughs> things correct yeah yeah exactly they they invite us in, in uh, to watch some yearly. games yeah, watch some game and also yearly celebrating uh, Germany's National Day and uh, and also like when there is a championship, World Cup or European Cup that we get invited and we support uh, the team with the ambassador in his house and Mishra every year. So it's uh, it's great to have the team and uh, to find all the supporters around you wherever you go, in Munich or in, in Doha or in Kuwait or in a, any other country. Well, once again, congratulations to Bayern on winning the UEFA Cup, uh, this uh, last one and their sixth, the UEFA Championship. And we'd like to thank you, Mohamed. You're the chairman of the uh, Bayern Munich fan club here in Kuwait. We wish you and all the fans all the best, and uh, hopefully Bayern will keep on winning more trophies. Uh, thank you very much for this interview, and uh, uh, I would like to thank you on behalf of, on, uh, on behalf of all our members for giving us this uh, uh, chance to express our happiness, like everybody's happy now and they are so happy. And uh, we would like to thank you for this interview and to show that there are really and true fans here in Kuwait. 
Thank you so much, Muhammad, and wish you all the best. And uh, we'd like to thank our distinguished guest. And uh, if you like Bayern Munich, a fan, or you just want to know more about the team in Kuwait, uh, Bayern Munich, and then the letter Q and the number eight, and you can find them on uh, social media to find out about their activities. Uh, join the fan club right here in the state of Kuwait if you like. Wir sind deutsche Meister. One team, one goal for life. We will never lose our pride. With the champions, seven in a row. The future looks so bright. Wir sind Sieger. 